Hey, what's up, nerds? Paul here at Radio Free Hammer Hall for another... This one's just sort of a PSA and FAQ sort of video. Now, I have seen the question many, many times on social media, and this is probably the number one question that I have seen since the Cities of Sigmar book came out. And that is, what do I do with all of my miniatures that are not in the Cities of Sigmar book, but used to be part of my chosen faction. For a quick example, Dwarf Thunderers and Quarrelers, they got discontinued. What do I do with them? I loved those guys. They were great. And the relatively simple answer is to simply use them as a different war scroll that is in the book. Now, there's sort of some words of caution around doing that. But here's basically how you go about doing that and having it be basically okay. Number one, if you're playing casual games, just make sure your opponent's okay with it. Just say, hey, I'm, I want to use X as Y, you know... As long as you're doing something that is a reasonable facsimile of whatever war scroll that was, and now you're using the new war scroll, you know, with my example of Dwarf Thunders and Quarrelers, using those as free guild handgunners and crossbows, that works perfectly. It's the same weapon guys, just with dwarf bodies holding them instead of human bodies holding them. That's probably going to pass muster with pretty much everybody. When you're playing on, you know, a casual game with people, just ask the question. If you're going to an event, always ask the TO in advance of getting there. You know, send pictures, send anything you need to, to just sort of make your case and say, hey, I'm using this model for this war scroll in place of the models that are ordinarily used for that war scroll. Is that okay? You know, if you're going to a big tournament, do that in advance of your list submission. Don't ask that question after you've submitted your list. Make sure you're proactive and ask the questions before it's potentially a problem. Now, as long as things are close and look appropriate, and you've got the rule of cool making all of your army look the same even though you're using some alternate rules, most of the time, you're going to be just fine. I've personally spoken to tournament organizers of couple a couple of the biggest tournaments in the U.S. about this, and they've got no problem. As long as you are doing something that makes sense, like the Quarrelers and Thunderers are handgunners and crossbows example. If you are going to take... Um, I, I I don't know, high elf spearmen and use them as phoenix guard, well, then you might have a problem. If you're just kind of going horizontally, right? If you're using one kind of elf spearmen as a different kind of elf spearmen, then there's not much issue there. There's not much room to wiggle and say, oh, you have to be really hard-nosed to say, no, I'm not doing that. That's not okay. I'm not allowing that in my tournament. But always ask your TO first. And the biggest word of caution that I have is really inquire hard about this stuff if you're doing an official Games Workshop event. If you're doing it at your local Games Workshop store, if you are going to Nottingham, if you are going to Texas, just ask the questions ahead of time because they're much more strict about that stuff 
than most other tournament organizers are going to be because it's their product, right? They want their product to make sense on the table. But this book seems to be really something they're encouraging people to do conversions and things like that to make their army look aesthetically on the table interesting and cool. That might just mean that instead of simply using a X counts as Y, you need to do a little bit of conversions, do a bit of green stuff work. You know, a good example of that is I am um, trying to figure out what to do with my free guild archers. I've got like 20 of them. Their war scroll went away in the new book. What do I want to use them as now that, um, now that the, they're just not in the book anymore? And there's a pretty simple answer to that. I've talked to some people about it. And is there a problem with using them as shadow warriors or sisters of the watch? No. Now, the caveat is, well, kind of rule of cool, right? Like, make it make sense. If you're going to do sisters of the watch, do some head swaps. Make them all have female heads. Now there's no problem at all. And buying head bits off eBay or from a bit site is easy. Like, you can do that, no problem. And if you're going to do Shadow Warriors, maybe green stuff some cloaks onto them. Or just do it through the paint job. Because those particular models, they already sort of have like a coat, like an overcoat on. So if you paint that black, now they look like they're trying to hide. Or paint that in like camo colors so it looks like they're trying to blend in. Just sort of some ideas that are rolling around in my own head about how to use my own models that have been discontinued and still keep them in my army and still be useful. But a lot of people are freaking out and they really don't need to be. The big thing is before you freak out, talk to your local tournament organizers, your local play group, just ask questions. And I, I can tell you from my own conversations, as long as you are going and doing something that is close, something that makes sense, then you're going to be just fine. Don't panic, guys. It is all going to be okay. You don't have to throw away half of your dwarf collection. You just use a different war scroll. And high elves, like, there is no reason to not use those models still. Just use different rules. The models are discontinued. The scrolls are gone. Now you're just using alternate models. And it, the big thing is now you're going to make your army look uniform and have a uniform aesthetic over the whole army by sticking with that. And that's fine as long as you make the rules make sense and make the counts as make sense, right? As long as it is really clear what your model is supposed to be, if it is not the official model, that's usually the rule that people are going to go by. Um, I've used uh, alternate models in events, no problems. Um, so I think there's a lot of sort of concern out there that really is quelled very easily by just asking questions of your local play group and the tournament organizers of events that you're going to ask questions ahead of time, far enough ahead of time that you can make your own changes and have it not be a problem. Uh, don't do it after list submission. Do it before list submission. Um, do it before day of the event. All of those sorts of things. And you should be fine. So that's it, guys. As always, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. And don't forget our Patreon down below 
to help support the channel and improve the quality of our content. We'll talk to you all later.